hand size, pan size, man size. Good Lord, y'all. So we're working this edge right here. They should kind of be on bed and kind of next to these cattails. There we go. Oh, that's a better, that's a decent bluegill. Bluegill or a bass? That is a bluegill. Nice. Ooh, he slammed it. If we're fishing for bass, that would be a great size to catch right there, y'all. Let that one go. Let's get another one, shall we? All right, guys, we're just simply got a worm underneath a little uh, trout magnet bobber here on a 164th ounce trout magnet jig head. Slowly work this bank here. See if any of these sunfish are, there we go. Oh yeah, there's another one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bluegill. Nice, look at that. All right. Oh, that one's had a quick release. Looking for the bigger ones. There's gotta be some bigger bluegill on this side, I would think. Possibly spawning. There we go. A little bit bigger. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. There we go. Very nice. Beautiful. Guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the funnest ways to fish right here. Beautiful. Let's get another one. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. What do I got? Beautiful bluegill. Look at that. Oh, that's a shell cracker. All right, y'all. I have not caught a shell cracker out of here in forever. Beautiful. All right, y'all. Look at that beautiful shell cracker. This works for everything. Nice. There we go. There's another one. All right. Beautiful bluegill. Very nice. Got to go get bigger, buddy. Oh yeah, that was a better hit. Okay, what do we got this time? That is a better fish right there, y'all. Oh yeah, very nice. Here it comes. Oh, oh yeah. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the show. Nice deal. Guys, you don't have to overcomplicate it. Keep fishing simple. Okay. Simple and fun. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Look at that. I'm going to keep working this edge over here. As long as they're biting, I'm going to fish for them. Oh, yeah. Good fish. At least a good fighter. What do we got? Another nice bluegill. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice. All right. Another beautiful one. All right, y'all. See what we got back in there. Is there anything else? Yep. Oh. <laughs> that one wants to dance for us. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful gill. Nice. It's got its colors all out and striped up for us. Look at that, guys. How beautiful is that? All right. Go get bigger. They are clearly over here on this edge. I don't know if I got close enough to the bank on that one. Yep. <laughs> wow. There's another one. Not as big as the first couple, but it hit just as hard. Very nice. All right. Beautiful. Go get bigger. I will say this when it comes to the panfish. And a crappie is a panfish, but I'm not going to include it in this specific thing. When it comes to a sunfish, bluegill are fun fighters, but the shell crackers are just super aggressive. Yep. Like, you could throw out a small piece of worm, you could throw out a full worm, they're going to eat the whole thing. It is not going to slow them down at all. And guys, why? the reason I am casting over by that brush, bugs are going to fall off of that brush into the, into the water. So you're going to have a natural concentration of fish that are going to be just kind of sitting there waiting for something to fall in. So yeah, I'm going to show you once again, I'm doing this uh, trout magnet jig head. I'm taking about that much of a night crawler. And I'm actually feeding it all the way through like you would a regular worm. If you're doing a plastic or a grub. And I'm going to 
push it out the back of the tail just like that. And there we go. Got him. That's a better fish. Nice. All right. Beautiful. Look at those colors. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Beautiful. There's another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. That is what I'm talking about, y'all. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Let's catch another one. When I'm targeting bluegill and panfish, especially on ponds, I like to work edges of the banks where there's weeds, cattails, invasive grass, uh, milfoil. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one had a bass coming after it. Very nice. Look at that. That's why it had a bass chasing it. Not exactly a big one. Fun fighting fish. Let's let it get bigger. Took half of my worm. See if we can't catch something on that little piece right there. It doesn't take a much, y'all, to be able to catch a fish. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Oh, that is a nicer fish. Ho, 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 ho. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, catching big fish on little baits. Look at the size of that bluegill. My goodness. Absolutely beautiful. That is a tank of a bluegill. Hold on, buddy. We're going to let you go. Beautiful. Go get bigger. There's another one. That one is obviously much smaller. <laughs> the bluegill I caught before this one could have ate this one. Changed it up, y'all. We have just a simple split shot, smallest one that I own, down to just an Aberdeen hook and a half a piece of net crawl. Got him. All right, y'all. Let's see what we got here. Feels like a better fighter. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful shell cracker. We're catching shell cracker out of a pond in the end of July. That is awesome. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go get bigger. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's a really nice fish. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Another beauty. Look at that. Just a regular, guys. Old school. Nightcrawler on a wire hook. Still one of the best ways to catch fish. Absolutely beautiful. Let's let that one go. Guys, this is going old school right here. And is why it has to be in my top five ways all time of, to catch panfish. You will catch all kinds of panfish this way. You will catch bass. You'll catch everything this way. But since we're doing a pan fishing series, that's what we're talking about and focusing on. Working these weed edges once again. You'll hear me say this over and over in the, in the series, especially in ponds. Weed edges where you see the bugs come in. They also create a natural point. But the bluegill shell cracker, most panfish like to spawn along these sandy muddy bottoms that you have right here and if they're not spawning there they're actually coming through there and they're feeding they're getting the bugs that are coming off of these plants and anything else that may be washing in oh oh that's a nice one i'll take you beautiful that's a nice bluegill all day long oh Guys, I don't know. I love to crappie fish. I love to catch perch, walleye, all that. I'm, as you guys might be able to tell through my videos, I'm really enjoying the bluegill fishing. There's just something that just has to be said about catching bluegill. 
and how aggressive they are. And they taste delicious. Those of you who don't eat bluegill, you're missing out. Oh yeah. <laughs> that one just hit hard. What do we got? Oh, that's why. Whoo. Nice one. Yeah, just happy. Happy and energetic. I'm thick. That is probably, guys, that's not the biggest one lengthwise I've caught today, but it is thick. That is a thick fish. Very nice. Go get bigger. Oh, nice hit. As soon as it hit the water. That's, oh, that's a nice fish, y'all. That is a monster bluegill. Good Lord. That's a fat one. Ho, 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 ho. Well, y'all want to catch big fish? Watch more of the videos like this. I'm teaching you how to do it. Not just catching babies. Beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And guys, I will tell you this. So don't, don't get it twisted. There is nothing that beats crappie fishing. The down periscope, the thump, okay? So let's get that cleared out of the way. But I'm telling you. Bluegill fishing is an extremely close second for me personally. Bluegill fishing, just hands down. Easiest way to fish and the funnest way to fish. All right, y'all, new location. We are heading back here with a bobber and a night crawler. Let's see what we can catch. Once again, guys, I've told you as we go into the ponds, immediately start working the weed edges where you see the willows, where those fish are gonna be tucked in at. Looking for a quick bite, and but they can get back to safety. Right, cast right in there. Let's see what happens. Got him that time. All right. There we go. There's our first one. He's kind of pecking at it, pecking at it, pecking at it. Didn't want to commit. Stayed patient. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see if there's anything over there by that willow. Guys, this is just simple. We're just fan casting. Working the edge of that bank over there. Kind of giving it a pop. Bringing it away from it. See if we can get the attention of any of the fish. See if there's any active eaters in here. Is that a bass? Oh, we got another little bluegill. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Got a nice one right there, y'all. Let that one go get bigger. Oh, yeah. What do we got now? Yes, sir. Oh, ho, 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 my. That's what I'm talking about. That is a big bull, y'all. Look at that. That is a bull bluegill. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's why this method... You have to try it if you want to catch a big fish. And that is a big fish. That's what you want to do right there. You got to be willing to cast it in there into those areas. And it slammed it as soon as it hit the water. One of the great things about fishing this way, guys, is you're giving them a natural bait that they will see. And it just rained a few days ago. So with the water washing in from these spillways, this is actually a bait that they have been seeing and they've probably been feasting on for at least a day or so now. There it is. Not a big one. Actually, yeah. Decent sized fish. There we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Very nice. Look at that, y'all. Definitely a method that works quite effectively, whether you're fishing for bluegill, shellcracker, crappie, bass, catfish, whatever you're fishing for. Guys, I'm going to start teaching you some systems or some, uh, just some basic methods of to get out and it's going to increase the amount of fish that you catch. Just like that right there. Once you figure out what they want, wash, rinse, repeat. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. One after the next after the next. 
whether you're out fishing for fun or you're out fishing for food, this is going to work. There we go. Oh no, get out, get out of there. Nope. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Woo! Hand size, pan size, man size. Good lord, y'all. Look at that. Wow. That is why you go fishing. My goodness. Y'all, I gotta. That, 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 that's ridiculous. Wow. The thickness of that thing. Look at that. Wow.